All right, guys, welcome to the other workout. So what you're gonna need is Bushido gloves. All right, Bushido gloves. These ones are a little bit different, uh, but they are the Bushido gloves. And then you're gonna need two tennis balls, okay? I'm gonna show you how to utilize tennis balls in your workout today. All right, guys? All right, so let's get started, all right? Here we go. So by the way, I'm keeping track of the workout. So at the end of the video, I'll share about how many calories I burn and so on and so forth, what my heart rate was. So what you're gonna do is this, the tennis ball itself. There's two ways of gripping this, okay? So when you're doing this, this is gonna help you with your grip strength. It's gonna help you with your punching strength, kind of like I talked about in the last video, and your forearm strength. So this is kind of uh, representing the impact of something hard when you're punching like a heavy bag to get that endurance in the forearm and the endurance in your grip. So number one, thumb goes like this underneath, then just hold like this. So you're just kind of wrapping it and gripping it so your forearms are engaged when you're doing it. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, which is one of my favorites, is digging your fingers into it, into the tennis ball, and gripping that tennis ball as you're punching. So the thumb's out, but you're gripping like this. And utilizing your striking, so when you do make a fist, it's way tighter and way more effective, so it's like a brick. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use today. All right, so we're gonna kind of follow up what we did last time with the jab cross uh, uppercut motion, so we're gonna warm up with that. So we're gonna do, uh, I have everything written down on my mirror. We're gonna do uh, two warm-ups and then we're gonna get into uh, the other exercise uh, exercises. So, let's get started guys, here we go. All right, so we're gonna be in a fighting stance position. Whatever you have your southpaw or not, whatever position you wanna be. And again, grip the ball however you want. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 rounds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, every time I do an uppercut, that counts as one. We're gonna do 10 sets, not rounds, sorry, 10 sets. All right, here we go. Warm up to this too, so don't go too fast. Okay? one there for you guys. Now we're gonna go this direction now, okay? So when we're doing this, you wanna do your best to keep that grip. Keep that grip either like this or with your fingers. All right, do your best to keep it the whole entire time with the 10 rounds. All right, we're gonna go this direction now. Okay, here we go. Then release. You should, you should start feeling in your forearms a little bit. If you're not, you must have really strong forearms or you're not gripping them all the way. So, all right guys, so let's go this direction now. Here we go, let's make it happen. All right. or you start feeling it in your forearms or both when you're doing this. Now, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna be hinging with this. And what's great about practicing punching and gripping is that you need to incorporate the footwork. And this is what's great about, you know, practicing the punch, is your feet are constantly moving. But the thing is, we need to learn how to pivot, meaning from here, I'm gonna be facing this way, and then establish the stance. Move, establish the stance. Establish that stance, boom, boom, boom. So when you're moving, boom, you're gonna hit 
way stronger. Towards the end of this round, I'm going to show you a fun little drill you guys can do uh, after this. All right, so here we go. We're going to do three rounds. We're going to do four sets. Each corner, we're going to hit. We're going to hinge. So again, watch. I'll go slow. Again, grip, grip. One, two, three, back, pivot. You can see my foot is back here. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. And then back to here. All right, so this time, now that the body's a little bit warmed up, I want you to put a little more power and body. You gotta incorporate your abdominal muscles into the punch. Here. All right, here we go. And as we do the workout, we're gonna increase the intensity as well. All right? All right, let's do this. All right, grip my here. All right, here we go. sets three rounds of a little extra one now your heart rate's going so right now our heart rate's at 170 so the more energy you put into it the more you're gonna get out of it remember that so go at your own pace so really quick I'm gonna show you I'm gonna incorporate the jab cross and I'm gonna pivot and do the uppercut I'm gonna go slow and then kind of show you the, uh, the benefit of pivoting and establishing that stance in order to hit. Okay, all right? So, real quick. So here we go, ready? Oh, my music stopped. Oh, we'll fix that right now. Here we go. So we're here, one, two, and I pivot. See my hand is here. I sink my weight, pivot the hip, here. One, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two. Good, we're just gonna do one round. But practice that, because the next video we'll do is I'll incorporate a lot of those type of movements where you're moving and hitting at the same time, but learning how to establish your base to generate a lot of power as you move. It's very difficult to generate power as you move. And that's something that we need to always to practice, not just staying stationary and practicing that, and that's great. That's great as a beginning level, but it's advanced level, boom! We need to move, boom, and learn how to hit. All right, here we go, guys. We'll do one, one round, one round. Remember, don't forget, tighten these, okay? Tighten your tennis balls. Here we go. I use my fingers and the grip. Boom, 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 boom. Good. All right, guys. Now, we're done with the tennis balls. And again, you're not holding it for long. It's just a good way to warm up a little bit quicker, get that grip. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to get our Bushido gloves. Okay? So we don't need these anymore. All right? All right, for you guys that have an Apple Watch, if you put it on gloves, put it on movie mode, it won't interrupt it. So, I always like using my Apple Watch to keep track of all my workouts. I'm just, I'm a freak like that. I like to see my progress. These gloves are a little bit different. These are the uh, easy strap. Boom, did you see here? Boom. So, the other ones were a full strap. These are a little bit quicker, but the padding, the padding, you guys, is what's great, okay? All right, here we go. Ooh, these are nice. All right. Let's 
See, look. Easy. Easy peasy. All right, so for this next one, I'm gonna face this way and show you guys. We're gonna be doing this. It's very important to learn how to pivot. I'm exaggerating my hips right now, watch. Boom, dropping that knee. Boom. Some people call it a closed kneel. Then kepo. But we're just pivoting, establishing a small of a stance to establish a strong base and then generate a lot of power through our upward elbow to the chest or to the chin. So watch. Here, oos, here, woom, woom. We're on guard, we drop this, woom, here. And we really wanna pivot, pivot the hip, and launch that elbow up. We have the pad, okay? So what we're gonna do is, let's see. All right, we're gonna do three rounds. So, we're gonna go three rounds, we're gonna do 10 sets. We'll go 10, here, We'll switch, we'll do 10, okay? And that's one round, all right? One round. So we'll do left and right with this. Now this is where you start increasing your intensity, all right? Let's make it happen, let's do this. Here we go. Soft part of the pad. Here we go. Push, 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 Round one, baby. Round two now. Here we go. All right. Round two. We're gonna add a knee. We're gonna go elbow. Clinch, push, really rotate the hip, engage the core. Here we go, let's make it happen. Ready? Push, and push, and push, and push, and push, 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 Other side now, let's make it happen. Woo! Ready? Make it happen. Follow along the best that you guys can. Here we go. All right, we'll fix the music right now too. Keep the, keep the flow going. Now, you take as many breaks as you want. All right, here we go. All right, make it happen. the martial arts, the one thing that it teaches us is to put your best into everything you do. Your best, okay? Everybody's best is gonna be different, but you wanna put your best. 
to get the best out of it. Let's make it happen. Here we go. All right. Where it happens, that's where it is. Shout out to Bushido. Here we go. Here. Okay. That's the martial arts portion of it. Now we got some conditioning. Oops. All right. So these are called leg throughs or kick outs, depending on where you get them. Very popular in wrestling. Uh, very popular to. Uh, get out of a chokehold. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a series where your knees will come out, your foot will come out and tap, then you'll kick. We'll do, so we'll do, I believe we decided to do five of each, five of each, and then we'll do three uh, rounds, three rounds. So let me show you real quick, okay? So I'm gonna face this direction here, right, just like this, I go knee, hand is up, and back, knee, hand is up. So I'm balancing on opposite sides. So I'll show you over here, I'm here, boom, see, opposite, and come back. Now when I come back, I want to focus my hips directly facing the ground. So that's the first one. The second one is this, just put your foot out and back, put your foot out, and back. That's the second one we're gonna do. And the third one, you're gonna kick. So watch, I'll do both angles so you guys can see. Here, and back, and back. So watch, angle, and back, and back. Whew. Just doing that is, Pretty tough. So, again, follow along to your best of your ability, guys. Okay? So this is a good warm up. We're 18 minutes in and uh, 200 calories already with that. So, let's do it. Let's burn up to 300. See if we can get to 300. That'd be great. Okay? Okay, um, so follow along. Whoosh, let's make it happen. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, other side now. One, two, three, four, five. Good, now the toes. One, two, three, four, five. Good, other side. One, two, three, Four, five, now kicking. One, two, three, four, five, the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! All right, one minute rest. Okay. One seventy-seven. That's great. I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. One eighty-one. This is the time where you want to control your breathing. This is how it's important to have like an Apple Watch or some type of device that keeps your heart rate, so you can focus on learning how to recover faster, so you can do more volume of exercises. So I'm just breathing here. Hi, I'm Garth Fleming from the Mercedes-Benz of 
We'll fix that as well too. All right, down to one, one fifty one already. Below the one forties. All right, let's do it again, guys. Here we go. Let's make it happen. No excuses. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Touch. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Kids. One. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, just to give you guys an idea, the marker right now is one second. Just to show you, total calories: 279. Average heart rate: 156. Okay. Boom. All right, guys. Great job today. Let's keep up the good work. Remember, quarantine, whatever, it doesn't let us stop from training. Loose. Have a good night. <laughs>